They're all the same, these cop shows. Guy kills somebody and gets his buddies to help cover it up. But then the cops turn the heat on. And eventually, one of them cracks and spills his guts. That's what's different about the resurrection of Jesus. The people that were with him say after three days, he got up, walked around with them, talked with them, ate with them, and then went up to heaven. And they say they saw it with their own eyes. Strange story. And I can't think of why they would have made it up. But if they had, one of them would have eventually cracked and spilled his guts. But they didn't. Not one. Take the guys who wrote the story down in the Bible. There's Matthew. He was killed with a sword in Ethiopia. And Mark, he was dragged behind horses through the streets of Alexandria until dead. Luke, hanged. And John, his testimony got him thrown in a vat of boiling oil. But he survived and kept on preaching. The Apostle Paul, in prison for years. And then, beheaded in Rome. How about Jesus' disciples? If there was a conspiracy, they'd be the ones hiding something, wouldn't they? Philip, Andrew, <laughs> crucified. And Peter, the one who denied even knowing Christ to avoid being arrested. Later, he would not renounce the resurrection, even though they forced him to watch as they crucified his wife, and then him. James, Matthias, beheaded. Bartholomew? whipped to death. Thaddeus, they silenced him with arrows. James, son of Alpheus, tradition says he was stoned to death. Doubting Thomas, he was killed with a spear. Simon the Zealot, tradition says he was cut in half in Persia for his faith. That's it. All of them. Did they choose to die to protect a lie? And what did they get out of it? Rich? Famous? Uh-uh. They knew that it would probably get them killed, and that's just what it did. You want to believe that it's just a story? Go ahead. Knock yourself out. But you got to get past these guys.